Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the MCQs from Model Question Paper 2, which was released by Karnataka Secondary Education Examination Board for this year 2021. So before we begin with the video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button to get the latest updates of my videos. And also do watch the video till the end so that I can make more such videos for you guys. In this video, I'll be solving around 16 multiple choice questions. All these questions I've taken from the model question paper too. So these questions are direct questions and also they are very much important as these questions can be asked in your examinations. So now let us start with the question number one. So in this video, I'll be solving around 18 MCQs and all these questions I've taken from model question paper two of this year 2021. The first question is the pair of lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 are intersecting lines then the ratio of their coefficients is. So here they have asked us that the pair of lines are intersecting. Whenever two pair of lines are intersecting at a point then the ratio of the coefficients is given by a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 okay so the correct option is option a so this question is from a chapter pair of linear equation likewise they can ask for the coincident lines that is the lines which are overlapping on each other and parallel lines so when the lines are coincident then the ratio of the coefficients will be a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and that will be equal to c1 by c okay when the lines are parallel then the coefficients will be a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and this is not equal to c1 by c2 so these are the three conditions when the lines are coincident and when the lines are parallel so any one of the conditions can be asked so here they have asked the intersecting lines likewise they can ask for coincident line and parallel line so all these three conditions you have to know so make a note of these now coming to our next question 2 comma x comma 14 are in arithmetic progression then the value of x is so they have given us the three terms that is 2 comma x and 14 they form an ap they have given us three terms that is a1 a2 and a3 so what is the general form of an arithmetic progression so in the general form the first term a1 is equal to a second term is a plus t and third term is a plus 2d so looking at the general form of the arithmetic progression we obtain the first term which is equal to 2 because the first term is given so in this way we come to know that our first term a is equal to 2 by looking at our general formula now similarly when you come to the third term a3 a3 is equal to what a plus 2d and in the question they have given us the third term as equal to 14 so 14 is equal to a plus 2d right now let us substitute the value of a which we know here that is equal to 2 so 14 is equal to 2 plus 2d or you can send this 2 to left hand side so this will be 14 minus 2 is equal to 2d so 14 minus 2 is 12 equal to 2d or d is equal to 12 divided by 2 so cancelling 2 1 times to 6 times is 12 so we got a value and d value now we have to find out our second term a2 a2 we have to find out and its general form is a plus d so here let us substitute the a and d value a is 2 plus d is 6 therefore we will get the second term a2 as 6 plus 2 is 8 so here they have given us a2 as x so let us write down x is equal to 8 so our correct option is option d where x is equal to 8 now coming to our third question the standard form of a quadratic equation is so they have given us four option and we have to select the correct option so the standard form of a quadratic equation is given by ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and where a is not equal to 0 right so this is the standard form of a quadratic equation so if you look at the option all the options are same but the signs are different so always make sure that you select the correct option from the given options so our correct option is option b which is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero 
Now coming to our next question that is question number 4 sin 90 minus theta is equal to. So, these are the complementary angles where sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. In the chapter introduction to trigonometry, I have given you this table where all the complementary angles are given. So, you have to know this whole table because any one of the complementary angle can be asked. Here they have asked you sin 90 minus theta. Likewise, they can ask you for tan 90 minus theta, cosecant 90 minus theta or for cos, cot or secant. So, it is better you note down this table and, and know all the complementary angles. Now, coming to our question number 5, the value of tan 45 is. Again, to know the value of tan 45 degree, you should know this trigonometric table which I have given you in chapter introduction to trigonometry. So, you have to know all the given values here that sin, cos, tan, cosecant, secant and cot values for angles 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degrees. Make a note of this table and also do remember all these values because like tan 45, they can ask you any value here like secant 30 or cot 90. So, you have to know all these values to answer these types of MCQ questions. So, what is tan 45? Tan 45 degree is equal to 1. The correct option is option C. Now, coming to our next question, question number 6. In the given graph, the coordinate of a point A is. So, this is the graph where you have x axis and y axis. So, here the point A is on x axis. So, whenever a point is on x axis, so coordinates will be x comma 0 where the x value will be the value where the point is located. In this case, it is 2 and our y coordinate value will be 0. So, our point is located at 2 comma 0. So, this is the point at which our point A is located, right? So, our correct option is option D, 2 comma 0. Likewise, if they ask you a point on the y axis, the coordinate is will be of the form 0 comma y where x value is 0 and y value will be the point will be the place where the point is located. Here it is located at 3. So, our point will be 0 comma 3. Question number 7. The empirical relationship between the three measures of central tendency is. So, this is the question from the chapter statistics. So, our correct option is the empirical relationship between the three measures of central tendency is 3 times of median is equal to mode plus 2 into mean. A correct option is option B. So, this is the direct question from the chapter statistics. Eighth question is in the given figure ST is parallel to QR then PS by SQ is equal. So, this question is from a theorem that is basic proportionality theorem. According to this theorem, if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points, the other two sides are divided in same ratio. So, here you can observe that a line ST is drawn parallel to one of the sides that is QR of this triangle PQR. So, this line ST divides the other two sides PQ and PR in the same proportions. So, therefore, here they have given us PS by SQ is equal to what? So, PS by SQ will be equal to PT by TR. That is the option A, which is the correct option. So, these kinds of questions will be asked from your theorems. So, you have to know the theorems clearly, especially in the chapter triangles. Question number 9 is, in equation x plus y equal to 7, if x is equal to 3, then find the value of y. So, let us first write down the given question, equation that is x plus y is equal to 7. And if x is equal to 3, we have to find out the value of y. So, let us substitute this value of x in the given equation. So, x is equal to 3 plus y is equal to 7. Sending this 3 to right hand side we will get the y value, right? So, y is equal to 7 minus 3. So, this 3 will become minus when it comes from left to right. So, y is equal to 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. So, here our correct option is option C. So, be very careful with the signs. So, here our 4 value is plus 4 because we are subtracting a greater number with the smaller number. So, always we have to take the greater number sign. So, we have got here plus 4. So, if you get confused and if you take minus 4 as a result, then you will select the wrong option. 
again you have to change the sign of 3 here when 3 comes to right hand side it will become minus 3 but if you simply take it as plus 3 then 7 plus 3 answer is equal to 10 that option is also given here so you have to be very careful with the signs after solving the problem check again whether you have solved it correctly so that you don't go wrong while selecting the correct option now coming to the next question that is question number 10 in the given figure p is a midpoint of bc write the formula to find the coordinate of p so here we have to find out coordinates of point p that is x comma y so this point p is the midpoint of this line bc according to a given question if this point is the midpoint of a given line a b having the coordinates x1 y1 and x2 y2 the formula is as follows that is p x comma y is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 this is our x coordinate and our y coordinate will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2 right this is the midpoint formula but here since we have to find out the midpoint of this line bc the coordinate of point p is x2 and the coordinate of point c is x3 so according to these coordinates we have to write down the formula for point p so therefore our formula will become x2 plus x3 divided by 2 x2 plus x3 divided by 2 and a y coordinate will be y2 plus y3 divided by 2 according to the given coordinates i'm changing the formula here so this is the correct option or the correct answer so option d is our correct answer now coming to our next question that is question number 11 write the measure of angle formed between a tangent to a circle and radius drawn from the center of the circle to the point of contact of the tangent right so here read the question properly write the measure of the angle formed between the tangent to a circle so we have a circle and there is a tangent there is a radius drawn from the circle so we have to find out the measure of the angle formed between the tangent to a, the circle so we have to find out this angle right so what is this angle this is a 90 degree angle formed between the tangent and the circle when the radius is drawn to the tangent right so when a radius is drawn from the center of the circle to the point of contact of the tangent so we have to draw the radius here so this angle is the 90 degree angle so the correct answer is the 90 degree angle that is option a coming to our next question that is question number 12 write the formula to find the total surface of a right cylinder so we have to find out the total surface area of a right cylinder right so total surface area of a cylinder is given by 2 pi r into r plus h square units right so this is the formula so a correct option is option c which is 2 pi r into r plus h square units there are other option also which is very much similar to our option c so you have to read the options carefully and select the correct option coming to our 13th question write the formula to find the volume of a solid sphere so what is the volume of a solid sphere so volume of a solid sphere is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube cubic units right so option b is our correct option so again look at the options carefully and select the answer because all the answers are very much similar now coming to our 14th question write the mathematical relationship between the slant height l height h and radius r of a cone so the mathematical relationship is given by l square is equal to r square plus h square right this is the mathematical relationship so our correct option is option c where l square is equal to r square plus h square please make a note of all these formulas and try to learn them because these are all the direct questions which can be asked in your mcqs coming to our 15th question in an arithmetic progression if an is equal to 3n minus 2 then find the second term of the progression 
so this question is repeatedly asked again and again so here they have given us the nth term a n is equal to 3 n minus 2 so we have to find out the second term so we have to find out the second term means we have to find out the a2 value so therefore we will substitute n is equal to 2 so substituting n is equal to 2 in the given equation you will get a2 is equal to 3 into 2 minus 2 that is 3 into 2 is 6 minus 2 is a2 is equal to 4 so our correct option is option a the last question if 15 cot a is equal to 8 then find the value of tan a so let us see how to solve this so they have given us 15 cot a is equal to 8 right so let us send this 15 to right hand side so here 15 is in multiplication form right when it comes to right hand side it will come in division form so cot a is equal to 8 divided by 15 we also know that a relationship tan a is equal to 1 by cot a right so now we have to find out the tan a value so by taking the reciprocal of cot a we will get tan a value right so tan a is equal to taking the reciprocal of cot a what is the value of cot a it is 8 by 15 so when you take the reciprocal of this value we get 15 divided by 8 so this is the tan a value and our correct option is option d which is 15 by 8 so these are some of the multiple choice questions which i have solved in this video if you have any further doubts you can comment me below in the comment section and also do subscribe to my channel as i'm going to make more such mcqs for you guys for all the chapters and also watch the mcqs which i have solved in my previous videos from chapter 1 arithmetic progressions shown on the screen thank you